Hi guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today is a quick one. It is a thrift store haul video. Um, I was able to go this weekend uh, to the thrift store with my friend Rosanna and I just happened upon a few really great finds and I'd like to share them with you today. I'm going to start off just kind of going through my pile here. Uh, the first thing I got is this costume jewelry which I thought was really cool. I thought it would make really great uh, focal pieces on um, fronts of journals. So I can take these apart and then I can put them on as, as focal pieces for journals. So this is just, again, some costume jewelry. $4.99, I thought that was awesome. I can get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different kind of elements out of this. So there's my first item. I thought that was really cool. The next thing I happened upon was these cards and they were $3.99. Again, I, I was shopping at uh, Value Village or as I like to call it, Value Village. And yeah, I just really liked these cards. I thought they would actually make really nice um, focal points again for the covers of journals. And these are by Frank W. Benson. Um, looks like this was some sort of uh, fundraiser maybe for the YWCA um, I just think these were are really great really great images fun to use there's some different ones here let's break into this let's see what we got I haven't even looked at all of this yet just kind of threw it all in the bag and then decided I'd do this video oh this is are these cards yeah they're cards okay I'm just gonna rip them open at this point yeah, look at these ones. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. This is Pierre Augusta Renoir. So yeah, Renoir. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So again, I thought they'd make really great, great focal points, either for a cover of a journal, even journaling cards. Um, yeah, just lots of fun. So um, there are obviously many um, images. I might even um, send some of these along in happy mail. So if you send me happy mail, I always send you a package back and I might include some of these in that. But I just thought they were great, gorgeous images. Again, Renoir, how can you go wrong? So that is that. Then found this, um, again, my friend Rosanna is an amazing thrifter. So she helped find a lot of these items for me. This one is a, a color guide to familiar wild flowers, ferns, and grasses. And I just love, let's see, this is copyright 1973 through 75. And I just really loved uh, some of the images in here. Very reminiscent of Edith Holden, I thought. Uh, maybe not so much in the text, but the images themselves really, really are quite gorgeous I just think they're so pretty so yeah I'll be able to play along with these they will make great journal cards or tags and I love that there's no um, image exactly on the opposite side of the page so you don't have to choose which image you're going to use so I'm probably not really centered sorry about that um, so yeah I just thought this was a super fun book love 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 these images how can you go wrong so I'm looking forward to playing around with this a bit well it even tells you how to herbarium herbarium is that what how you would say it herbarium I guess I don't know but yeah again gorgeous gorgeous images in this little book $3.99 can't beat that uh, the next one was I've been keeping my eye out for uh, bird books uh, just to kind of fussy cut out some of the bird images this one was $4.99 I probably paid way too much for it but I like that there's smaller images of birds in here that you can fussy cut out some bigger ones um, yeah I think I could make some of these work I, even though they have you know some little diagram parts to them I think I think I can make some of these images work so that was fun What's next? Oh, another book. Oops. This one is Birds of East Africa. 
Again, just really fun images. Um, put on journaling cards and what have you. Just super fun. Um, yeah, so I think that one's going to be good. And then I have one more bird book. This one is Birds of Utah. A little field guide. So I... $4.99 for this. I've been having a hard time finding these field guide books and of course bring my friend Rosanna along and she spies them right away. Again, gorgeous color images of some birds that we can fussy cut out. Go great for tags and card, journal cards and just fun. Just fun to play with. So that is those books. Um... I want to save these ones for last because those are my piece de resistance. I got two items that I really fell in love with. Um, this one, The Joy of Life. And I'm not even on camera. <laughs> there we go. Um, this obviously is an old life book, a life magazine book. Um, I just find that they have such gorgeous images in these. And oh, look at little baby bums. Who doesn't like a little baby bum? <laughs> um, yeah, there's usually something in here that we can find to to use. Like, I love these black and white images. Um, yeah, just fun. Just really fun images that I think um, can kind of work into. Like, that's, that's gorgeous. Oh, this one's ripped a bit, but that's okay. So, yeah, I'll just kind of flip through this, and I might, uh, might use a few images out of this old life book. But, yeah, super fun. Like, look at that. How cute is that? So much fun. All right, so there's that one. Then there is this one called The Tangled Garden. This is quite another large book. However, like, look at this. Look at the illustrations. Gorgeous, gorgeous hardcover book. Like, look at that cover. Some great um, insert pages here. Um, it's got like an embossed image in there. Uh, what does it say? Something design. I can't really read it all, but super cool paper in here that we can definitely use. And then these images are spectacular. Let's see if I can get to some here. Like, look at this. I just, I can see myself cutting this out and just having it, like, folding it in half and having it be excuse me, part of a page for, for a journal. I just, I wish I had more room so I could show all this to you. Let me move these guys out of the way. Maybe I can situate myself a bit better. Sorry, and I know I have a really bad shadow going on. I'll try and avoid that, but yeah, there's just, like, look at these. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. And I just think these would go really well um, as pages in a journal especially since they're double-sided. It looks like they really match up quite well on either side if I look through the page. But a lot of fun. So this was kind of like in the art, art and literature section of the used books, but just so much fun. 1919, Leaves and Brooks, so pretty. So yeah, there's that one. Then to my final two favorite items. Oh no, I lied. I got one more item before that. So as you guys know, I'm working on my mermaid journal and I've been on the search for shells. Lo and behold, of course, Value Village has shell necklaces, $4.99. I want to incorporate some of these beautiful shells um, on the front of my cover. So it looks like I might be deconstructing um, these I'm sure these are like what everybody buys when they go to Hawaii or whatever, right? But yeah, I am going to be deconstructing these necklaces and definitely using them on the cover of my mermaid journal. Oh, handcrafted in the Philippines. Super cool. Yeah, it's just gorgeous shells because you always need shells, especially if you're doing an ocean theme, mermaid theme are definitely going to come in handy. Again, I always save these little tags and I collage on top of them and make them in, repurpose them into tags again. So I kind of get a bonus when I buy something. I get a ready-made tag that I just have to decorate. So there's that. And then here is, ah, oh, so great. Look at this. World treasury of mushrooms in color. Right? You guys are getting excited about this as much as I am. I'm sure you are. Um, look at this. 
Oh, I did a little squeal and jumped up and down when I found this. Look at these images. Let's see, what, what are we looking at for copyright here? Oh, Graham Watts, December 25th, 1975. It must have been a book for him. It was originally, looks like $20.95. That's probably American, so, you know, it's like double to triple that here in Canada. But um, let's see, do we have a... 1974 editions Minerva printed in West Germany but look at these little images how absolutely adorable are these like right are you guys getting as excited as I am how great are these images I mean obviously some of them are going to be really big for um, for journal cards and stuff, but you can still, we can still use them as pages in the journal, right? That one, this, this leaflet page, like, right? How can you not? Sorry, I'm probably flipping through this way too fast for you guys, but yeah, I just really encourage you to take some time and, and head out to your local thrift store, flip through the books. This was in the garden section I believe of the books so a lot of fun with these mushrooms I couldn't pass this up $5.99 I think it's absolutely worth it for for the number of images you get yeah happy about that purchase but the piece de resistance of this whole I'd say thrift extravaganza that we did was this this is a Sears, Roebuck and Company um, catalog, almost like recreation. So it was $2.95. I spent $1.99. Um, and it is, it says Consumer's Guide Fall 1900. Um, look at this. Let's just open this bad boy up. A little dedication in here. Well, this is funny. Richard Warren Sears, founder and president, 1886 to 1908, which is really kind of funny because my grandmother was born in 1908 and she lived to 108. So I just think that's really fun. Um, so, yeah, the copyright on this is 1970. But let's take a look. Look at this. All these old advertisements. Look at this order sheet. Um, yeah, let me just kind of do a flip through. We got different harnesses for horses. Look at the sleighs. How cool is that? The old canopy top. Oh my word. Like, look at this. How can you not, not get excited over this? Look at these hats, little fascinators and stuff. Mm. Oh, this gorgeous stove look at that so yeah I was really really pleased to find this we've got jackknives scissors look at the ladies fashion and skirts how cool right so this was by far again I jumped up and down and squealed like a little girl when I found this um, people were staring at me but I was just so excited to get my hands on this hosiery there's a really fun one in here for boots yeah we're coming upon boots and shoes and I've seen like, look at this oh look at this Shay's lounge oh so fun yeah so super thrilled with this like guns right revolvers oh my gosh shotguns it's just crazy things that you could buy at Sears right not so much anymore but look at the banjos so, mandolin is that a mandolin yeah mandolins oh player pianos violins Ugh. oh is that a Stradivarius seven dollars and 85 cents for a genuine Stradivarius violin if only if only I could get my hands on that I um got myself a violin and, and was taking some lessons and I just I love the violin I want to get back into it but yeah, look at this. Yeah, so anyways, that was my thrift store find that I got so excited about and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, 
so yeah definitely take a look you can find some really cool stuff if you um, have the eyes for it again um, I was really lucky because I went with my girlfriend and it was just that other second set of eyes to look for things and um, yeah she just really helped out big time so that is my thrift store haul uh, for this weekend I'm going to be let's see tomorrow's Monday and Monday is the five item swap video that's going up with um, Angie from Junk Journal Junction so keep your eyes open for that there is another fun video coming up. Um, it's actually going to be on um, the Idiot Quilters site, and that's where he's interviewing me. So I'll try and remember to link that. And then, yeah, we're going to be getting back into our mermaid journal, uh, hopefully finishing off the cover and then working on the signatures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul video. Just a little something to tide you over till we get back into the goods. I thank you so much for stopping by today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and P.S. I love you.